Welcome to Torres Journeys. On today's episode, we are going to talk about our budget here in Sarvanda, Albania. Recently, I've been teaching Jesse Russian, but I find it very difficult to come up with lesson plans. Then I found the app called Lee. Lean is a highly interactive app and it makes learning a new language fun. If you're trying to learn a new language, I suggest that you check out Lean. Click the link in the description. Now I'm going to give you a tour of our apartment. Here's our living room. There's our kitchen. It has two other things. Let's go check it out. Here's our bedroom, lots of space, has a rack, and of course, it has a bathroom. Our apartment also comes with a nice big screen TV that has play so you can put your YouTube on there, you can sign in or even use your iPhone if you want. Also, here's the best thing about our apartment. It has to do with the view. We get to watch every sunset. And Julie and I just sit out here on the balcony and we have coffee, lunch, dinner. This is what it's all about. So now you might be asking, how much do you pay per month with the sea view, the one bedroom, and all of the amenities that you need? We pay 300 euros a month. And what does that include? Well, it includes our AC our TV that you can see right there, and also Wi-Fi and water. And it's all included for 300 euros a month. And most of the apartments that we've looked at come with newer refrigerators and a kettle so you can boil some tea or make some coffee. Now that you've seen what our apartment looks like, Julie and I actually went out to look at some other apartments that cost much less. And Julie's gonna show you the information about those apartments. Yes, there are a lot of apartments that may cost as low as 100 or 150 euros per month. But when you walk into the apartment, it's just a small room that may have three beds and an older small kitchen. So you're probably not gonna like it. Now Jesse is going to tell you how we found our apartment here in Saranda and how you may find an apartment when you come here. Mm -hmm. So Julia found the first contact that we had on Facebook in the Sarande rental groups and all that kind of stuff. We highly suggest it, um, but you need to really understand what you're gonna get yourself into, so don't commit too long, because you could get there and realize uh, this is not what we want. Now here in Sarande, uh, we found many people around on the street just holding up signs saying apartment for rent. I do suggest to go see what they have, and also you can check in with the real estate agents around town as well, it's very easy. So those are three easy ways to find an apartment here in Sarande, but we do suggest that maybe you book one or two nights just so you know where you're gonna be staying, and then give yourself time once you get here to look around and walk around to find your apartment. It's easy to do. When it comes to shopping in Sarande, you'll find out there's plenty of markets all within walking distance. And don't worry about bringing everything from home. They're gonna have everything you need. There's fresh vegetables, there's produce, there's chicken, there's meat. I mean, Julie and I, has been, Julie and I have been cooking for three months, four months in yeah. Sarande, and she has plenty of Nutella, plenty of coffee. You don't need to bring anything from home. They're going to have it all. And the prices are reasonably affordable. It might be just a little more than Toronto, but overall, and you're using the Euro, things are a lot cheaper. Not a lot, but they are cheaper. They are. They are. So don't worry. Don't bring the grocery store with you. We have it here in Sarande. Now we are going to talk about food. Now we are going to talk about prices. For example, one kilogram of sweet potatoes will cost you $1.70. One kilogram of regular potatoes will cost you $1.50. One kilogram of onions will cost you $1.25. One kilogram of tomatoes will cost you $1.25. One kilogram of carrots will cost you one dollar. One kilogram of zucchini will cost you one dollar and twenty-five cents. 
one kilogram of pepper will cost you 60 cents. One pack of mushrooms will cost you $3.50. Now milk. This is regular milk. It costs $1.30. But if you want to buy hazelnut or almond milk, you'll pay $2.50. For 400 grams of feta cheese, you will pay $6. The bottle of water will cost you one dollar and it's eight liters. Now we'll go over some dry goods. Well, first, Nutella. Nutella costs six dollars. It may be a little expensive, but it's Nutella. Bread. We buy this type of bread. It costs two dollars and twenty-five cents. Uh, it has. It's more healthier. Uh, bread crumbs. They cost one dollar. Big bag. Cooked lentils, one dollar. Quinoa, that's a little bad, cost almost three dollars. It's a little bit expensive. However, buckwheat cost just a dollar. Uncooked lentils cost about a dollar and twenty-five cents. Bulgur cost one dollar and twenty cents. It's a big bad. Sugar costs, uh, the brown sugar costs $2 or $2.50. This pack of almonds, it's, let me see how many grams it is. It's made in the US, so it's imported, so that's why it costs about $3. And uh, let's talk about chicken and meat and fish. Fish is a little bit expensive, I think. It's $7 per kilogram. One kilogram for chicken filet gonna cost you eight dollars and eighty cents it's if it's unfrozen frozen chicken is a little bit cheaper but the quality of it is not that good uh, what else we don't buy beef and we don't buy pork so we don't know the prices of that but they do have all the butcher shops and you can find it as well one last thing that we buy that we need for the morning is coffee the last brand of coffee we bought was uh, La Vazo. It costs four dollars and fifty cents. But it depends on the store. You can find cheaper. You can find all the more expensive. But on average, it's four dollars. Let's sum it up. And on average per month, we spend about four hundred dollars for food only, not counting the food that we eat outside or coffee. Now we're going to talk about something Julia absolutely loves. And it's coffee. We've been walking around the surrounding, we're trying out different cafes and restaurants for coffee, and we can highlight our three favorite cafes. It's Orange Cafe, uh, Jericho Bar, and Hard Rock Cafe. The price for coffee in these places varies from $1.50 to $2. We usually buy coffee cappuccino. So when it comes to pastries, there's so many places to go. Jesse and I are buying our birthday cakes here. Also, we are buying the small cheesecakes here. They cost from $1 to $2. So many places, they all delicious. And what about ice cream, Jesse? Ice cream during the summer is on, not on every street corner, but there's a couple places, two or three places. And you have the small one, you have the big one. It's between 50 cents to a dollar, mm -hmm. but you're, you're, not, you're always going to find it. But that was one of our favorite things to do, was walk yeah. around and get ice cream. So when you get to Sarandi, if it's summertime, look for the ice cream. When it comes to getting your hair cut, for men's haircut, it's about $5. If you want to trim your hair, it's $10. If you want to dye your hair, it's $30. If you want to do your nails, it's $10 without manicure, and it's about $15 to $18 with manicure. Saranda is a very walkable city. We don't have a car, we don't have a scooter, we just walk. Sometimes we use a bus. And for us, we've noticed that the bus, it leaves once an hour from near the port. And actually it right, comes right in front of our hotel at about 35 after each mm -hmm. hour. And it's only a one euro, or a dollar, sorry yeah. I keep saying euro, but it's one dollar to take the bus all the way to Samil or to Betrint. It's very easy. When it comes to needing to rent a car or renting a scooter, the cars are about $30 a day and a scooter can be low as $18 a day and that's on a 24 hour clock. 
So in talking about the budget for about $1,000 for a couple, would be plenty enough for one month in Saranda. So that's been Julia and I's expenses for living here in Sarande during the winter. If you come in here in off season, that's how much money you would need. If you come in in summer, you'll need a little more for sure. So thanks for checking in with us and make sure you subscribe and share.